Home Assistant is a very popular open source software solution for managing and integrating various Internet of Things and smart devices in your home. Nabucasa, the company behind the development of Home Assistant, started making devices like Home Assistant Green. This is a private, local smart hub on which you can run Home Assistant. And actually, it comes with Home Assistant pre-installed. In this short video, I'll demonstrate you how to get started with Home Assistant Green. Once you have Home Assistant set up, there are millions of possibilities, including open source hardware, Internet of Things, or your own do-it-yourself gadgets using open source projects such as ESP Home. If you're interested in exploring these possibilities further, have a look at the sponsor of this video, PCBWay.com. They maintain a shared project directory with many home automation projects. PCBWay offers many different services, 3D printing, CNC, metal sheet fabrication, but most importantly, printed circuit board manufacturing. PCBWay also offers PCB assembly. This is a turnkey solution for your prototypes. You don't need to solder your prototypes, they'll do it for you. Visit PCBWay.com to learn more. Let's start with unboxing of Home Assistant Green. It comes in a really nice eco-friendly cardboard box. The box contains universal power supply at 12 volts providing 1 ampere direct current, quick start guide, warranty and safety information, an Ethernet cable, a nice big sticker with the new Home Assistant logo, and of course, Home Assistant Green. The device contains three main parts, a beautiful translucent enclosure, the printed PCB which is green, and a huge aluminium heatsink for cooling. The design is great, Home Assistant Green looks amazing, and the aluminium heatsink is good enough to cool the CPU without the need of a fan, which makes it really quiet. The technical specifications of Home Assistant Green include quad-core Rockchip RK3566 system on a chip with a quad-core ARM Cortex-A55 CPU running at up to 1.8 GHz frequency, 32GB eMMC flash drive internal storage, and 4GB of RAM memory. In terms of connectivity, there is a Gigabit Ethernet port. To keep the cost down, Home Assistant Green does not offer any additional connectivity options such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or Zigbee. However, the two USBs on the back allow you to plug external devices for additional connectivity options. Overall, in my personal opinion, considering the technical specifications, Home Assistant Green is a great value for money. In terms of dimensions, the height of Home Assistant Green is slightly more than 3 cm. The left and the wife are equal both are slightly more than 11 centimeters and the whole weight of Home Assistant Green is 340 grams. The heaviest part is the case which contains two parts, the translucent enclosure on the top and the aluminum heatsink on the back. By the way, if you pay attention later on in the video, you notice the new Home Assistant logo on top of the enclosure of Home Assistant Green. There is no doubt that Home Assistant is an amazing open source software solution for home automation. It is not the only one, but based on my experience, it is the best one available as of the moment. Over the years, I have to share my experience that getting started with Home Assistant on a single board computer like Raspberry Pi is a little bit annoying as it takes some time. Furthermore, if you install uh, Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi from a micro SD card, uh, the SD card will break over time. Honestly, it's rather sooner than later, so to avoid this type of problems, Nabucasa offers Home Assistant Green. And this device is super easy to set up, it's very reliable, so it's a great solution and I highly recommend it for both experienced users of Home Assistant and users that are just getting started. On the front there are LEDs for indication. On the back there is a power supply port at 12 volts direct current, two USB 2.0 ports for use with Home Assistant Sky Connect or other USB devices, there is an HDMI port for diagnostic purposes only, micro SD card for recovery purposes, 
power off button and gigabit Ethernet port to connect Home Assistant Green to your local area network. As I mentioned, there are three LEDs on the front. There is a white light for power indicator, green light for activity, and yellow light for system health. After unboxing Home Assistant Green, all you need to do to get started is to plug a LAN cable to connect it to your local area network, turn on Home Assistant Green and visit Home Assistant website or use the application to configure it. Let me show you the exact steps. By the way, inside the package there is a small leaflet which shows you the four exact steps that you need to do in order to set up your Home Assistant Green. Step number one, connect your Home Assistant Green to the network by plugging an Ethernet cable and connecting it to your network router or switch. The packaging of Home Assistant Green comes with a black LAN cable, but in this case I'm using my own which is longer and is orange. Step number two, plug in the power supply cable into Home Assistant Green and connect it to a power outlet. Step number three, wait for a few minutes until the yellow light on the front of your Home Assistant Green starts blinking regularly as shown in the video. Step number four is to start using Home Assistant software, either by opening the Home Assistant app on your tablet or phone or opening the URL in your web browser. Wait for a few minutes until the yellow light starts blinking in a heartbeat pattern. Initial startup may take a while depending on the internet connection speed. We should proceed with the Home Assistant onboarding. It can be done from a mobile application or a web browser on a personal computer. I'm a Linux user, I have Ubuntu on my computer and I prefer to do it from the Chrome web browser. Load homeassistant.local with port 8123. Home Assistant has an MDNS service to offer this domain within your local area network. I'll follow the on-screen instructions to create my user, to set a password and basically to configure Home Assistant within my home. Home Assistant is very powerful. It will quickly detect many of the devices that I have connected within my home. There are additional plugins to configure other devices, even do it yourself, uh, Internet of Things. Home Assistant Green is a great device. It is made to last. It has less features in terms of connectivity compared to Home Assistant Yellow or Blue, but it comes at a very good price and I highly recommend it. As a conclusion, I have to say that Home Assistant Green is an amazing device. I really like it. It solves a lot of problems that people frequently have while using Home Assistant on single board computers like Raspberry Pi. Therefore, I highly recommend you to buy a dedicated device like Home Assistant Green. This is also an option to support Nabucasa, the company behind the development of Home Assistant. There are almost no disadvantages, actually, from the user's perspective. I don't have any remarks about this device. It's great packaging, great device, great case. Everything is perfect. The only slight disappointment is that this is not an open source hardware device. Home Assistant is an open source software solution. However, this hardware, as of the moment, is not open source hardware. But still, it's a great device and I highly recommend you to buy Home Assistant Green. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was useful. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos.